Hello everyone, in this video we're going to install the STSDAS package from the Space Telescope Science Institute. Thanks to this package, we can install the LACOSMIC task by Peter von Dokum, which in turn we shall use to remove cosmic rays from our spectra. Let's get started. You open your favorite web browser and Google STSDAS. There you have it. The first link takes you to the website of the Space Telescope Science Institute. We go to the download section. And in here, you need to get the complete package, the one which has STSDAS and tables. In my case, I need the one for Linux. This is the version 3.15. It is rather big, so it might take a while. Myself, I already have it, so no need to download it again. Okay. Here I have it. By the way, I'm not 100% sure this installation is the official one. I try following the steps in this website, and I even exchanged a couple of emails with IRAF and STSDAS professionals, but I didn't manage to make any sense out of it. So I just hope this works as well uh, for you as it does for me. Here I am in my IRF folder, which as you know, it's within the home folder. I'm going to create new folders. This one for packages. And here one for STSDAS. And one for Lacos. Okay. We go back and open this package. And I'm going to put the contents in the STSTAS folder. I select them and pull them to this folder. Don't worry, in your case, it will be much faster. Now we need to do the proper installation. It plays this way. We're going to compile a file from this package, this one in particular, install helper, which will produce several lines of code which IRAF needs to find the STSDAS contents. I'm going to assume you install IRAF using in one of my video tutorials, since in that case you already have everything you need. If you have any problem with these steps, Please post a comment and I shall try to answer as fast as possible. Okay, we go to our Ubuntu terminal and we look for the STSDAS package. Okay, now I am moving to the IRF account which I created to install IRF, since as you may remember, we already set it with a TCSH terminal which is the one you need to install this package. If you did it like me, you need to type su IRF. And now you need to set the password of the IRF account. There you have it. Now, to make everything easier, I will give this account super user powers. And we type the password again. Okay. okay, now you just need to run this command dot 
slash and the name of the file install helper and we press enter there you have it these are the lines you want to copy at this point you should have these several addresses over here pointing towards the folders where you have the contents of the STSDAS package we just downloaded and we need to copy them to our login.cl file which as you know is the file we use to launch IRF we go to our home folder IRF folder and we open the login.cl file here we have it and we need to copy these lines just before keep at the end of the file we select these lines oops whoops okay I managed to do it and we paste them okay now okay one more thing you need to comment these lines the first ones this if loop which in my case caused the IRF crash at launching I don't think they do anything so you can comment them or erase them all together if they don't give you any trouble you can leave them and now to test that the installation of Apache kit was correct we are going to add some packages for IRF to load for example this one first the STSDAS package and then analysis statistics nebular very nice let's save the changes and now we're going to go to our term terminal and launch IRF and as you know we type CL okay here you have it this new box tells you that you have installed the Space Telescope Science Data Analysis System version 3.15. Good job. Now we're going to install the LaCosmic task to remove cosmic rays. We open our favorite web browser and we Google LaCosmic. The first link takes you to the official website from the creator Peter Von Doku at Yale, while the second link belongs to the website of Phil Sigan, which gives you some advice on how to use this task. Let's just go for the official one. And here you can download the paper explaining the mathematics behind this plugin. And in the download section, you can download the actual code. Here, I'm going to download the imaging version for IRF. Actually, as you know, I am reducing spectra. However, since I am treating the 2D frames, I need the imaging version. Okay. Right click and save link as. And we save it in the LACOS package in the IRF folder save good job we can close this one and this one now again we need to modify the login.cl file to tell IRF where it can find this task so we open it and we can add it just after the STSDAS packages let's write for example And now you need to add something like this. This command will tell IRF that you're setting a new task with this name. It can be here you can type anything you want. And you make it equal to the address of the slacos.cl file. Okay, 
that should be it we save and we close it now we go to our IRF terminal we log out since we need to launch it again and now let's confirm it work EPA LACOS and there you have it I have found it very nice okay that's all I want to show you in this video in the next one I will show you how to use this plugin to remove cosmic rays from your spectra please remember to reference the work of Peter van Dokun if you use this task thank you very much for watching and see you soon